Mitochondrial disorders are a group of genetic conditions in which the mitochondria, a component of most cells that is responsible for producing energy, is defective. This often results in less energy, cell injury, or cell death. The most common organs that may experience damage are the brain, heart, liver, muscles, and kidneys. Some of the more common mitochondrial disorders include Alpers disease, Barth syndrome, Kern-Sayer syndrome, Lee syndrome, MELAS, mitochondrial encephalopathy, lactic acidosis, and stroke-like episodes, MERRF, myoclonic epilepsy with ragged red fibers, MNGIE, mitochondrial neurogastrointestinal encephalopathy, Pearson syndrome, and Wolfram syndrome. An estimated 1 in 8,500 babies are born with mitochondrial disorders. In this video, we will learn more about mitochondrial disorders by discussing causes, signs and symptoms, the diagnosis process, and treatment and management practices. Everyone has two types of DNA. Nuclear DNA, just referred to as DNA, is found in a cell's nucleus. Mitochondrial DNA, or mtDNA, is found in the cell's mitochondria. As mentioned before, mitochondria are often described as the powerhouse of the cell because it creates energy for the cell, and ultimately the body, to function. Mitochondrial disorders occur when genes on the DNA or mtDNA mutate. It is most common for mitochondrial disorders to be inherited from either parent, but some instances occur due to spontaneous gene mutation or environmental toxins. Mitochondrial disorders have a broad range of signs and symptoms, depending on which cells of the body are affected. Because cells exist throughout the body, this disorder can virtually impact any combination of body functions. Symptoms can also range in severity. Some common signs and symptoms include poor growth, muscle weakness, atrophy or pain, neurological problems including seizures, learning disabilities or developmental delays, vision or hearing problems, respiratory issues, heart, liver, or kidney disease, dementia, diabetes, gastrointestinal disorders, increased infections, and autism spectrum disorder. Mitochondrial disorders can affect any organ, and so diagnosing it can be difficult. The process may begin with an examination of an individual's medical history and symptoms. Genetic diagnostic testing, biochemical exams on blood, urine, or spinal fluid, a muscle biopsy, or MRIs, may also be used to make an accurate diagnosis. While there is no official cure for mitochondrial disorders, widely accepted management practices are focused on the individual's specific symptoms. Practices include vitamins and supplements, avoiding activities that worsen any symptom, exercise, and physical, speech, respiratory, or occupational therapies. Some people with mitochondrial disorders live typical and fulfilling lives, but depending on the symptoms that manifest, individuals may face rapid changes in health or even have relatively stable health with occasional flare-ups. Frequent visits to medical professionals can help individuals with the disorder live a high-quality life. This video is brought to you by PathCT, and funded by the New England Regional Genetics Network, NERGAN. In addition, we'd like to credit the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, the Cleveland Clinic, Boston's Children's Hospital, and the Mayo Clinic for the information shared in this video. We would also like to thank Stephen Cofrancesco for composing original music for PathCT. If you'd like to stay in the loop, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media, where you'll get updates on future episodes and other programs. Thank you.